So one of one of my friends recently told me a story that he his buddy got his girlfriend pregnant and like several weeks after the fact he mixed a bunch of plan b into her pancakes and she like that's a yikes yeah and like basi- a crime. basically killed her baby okay it's i'm like, calling the fbi yeah, yeah. 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 hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are good guys today i'm going to be reacting to rage quit kiko versus chase on abortion guys this should be interesting because the rate of abortion in our present day world it's crazy hey guys let's get right down this. Wow. So the, the you- only two kinds of guys that I've ever seen support abortion are the ultra simps that are like tr- like yeah. yeah I support feminism like Biden all that kind of stuff the, the ultra simps and the dudes that are running through chicks and they want that like escape hatch. It's I the definitely only kind see of guys. that side, but I just when you speak like that, it makes it seem like obviously yes is a I guess a form of birth control in the end, but it's not. It's it's not like oh. Either I can get this IUD or just keep getting abortions. Like, obviously, you've probably never had to have an abortion into a pro life. And abortion is not just a simple, let me just walk in and, oh, baby gone. It's a very brutal procedure. Yes, it's not. Yeah, I'm, but I'm not saying that. there's not women who have had multiple or things like that. And there is definitely women out there using this birth control. But that is a small minority of the people. There's, don't just make it seem like, yeah, it's like, oh. Yeah. I want, I, I can just get an abortion if I don't want to have a kid. Like, maybe there's a few, you know small percent of women out there like that but most of the time a lot of women i know who've had were honestly a lot of them kind of sometimes were being safe some of them were being idiots they're like oh pull out method blah, blah, how blah, many bullshit. people do you know that have, i don't know a single person i don't either yeah i know that have had quite a f- yeah do you consider plan b an abortion no no you don't not. consider plan b to be an abortion? it's there's that's, that's no proof or not if you had a, it's it's you too early abortion, on Brian? No, because I don't. I, I don't think there was a conception. I, yeah, it's, yeah. Too, it's usually when it the sperm conception. touches the egg. It's the next. It's very. You have to take it within seventy-two hours. The sperm There's has already no reached the egg. That's for plan B, that's, that's conception. I believe so. Because there yeah. would be nothing to kill if you if it didn't fertilize. No, it. but it's blocking. It's not okay, killing. So it's blocking it from in happening. In order for it conception to occur, yes. the sperm yes. has to right. get. Hold on, guys. In order for there to be a conception, the sperm must swim and make contact with the egg. What happened with if you take Plan B, it it does the the sperm has not yet hit the egg. Yeah, it's not in a pill. The it's sperm, not. I don't think. I don't think it takes. It doesn't take seventy two. You can take it for up to seventy two. Yeah, you but can I don't take know. it for up to seventy two. But if you take if you took it seventy two hours later, the sper- there's a likely chance that the sperm has already reached the egg within seventy two hours. Well, I that's believe. Right. So maybe it's like a wobble. I have no. I saw the Kardashians. I think Kendall Jenner this taught me this on the Kardashians that that's a great sperm source. can live in your body for like three days it before can, it yeah. impregnates you. Yeah. So that makes sense that. It's yeah, it's yeah. I don't know. I'm not a biologist. Days, it? It's yeah. five days, and the 72 hours is actually just the 96% effectiveness. So that's why they want you to take it within 72 okay. hours, but you can take it within seven days, and but the effect, the efficacy goes down significantly because con- conception has occurred at that point. So a lot of women, when they take Plan B, they like shed their, you know, it, it forcefully sheds your uterine lining so that you're aborting whatever conception occurred and a lot of women report the fact that they have like clumpy periods and they have like something bigger come out of them so no, there's a possibility dude. that the sperm did yes. reach the egg okay i'm not just I, making this up i know i know your, your no, but career if, and stuff okay but all i know people who literally used to pop I, sadly i don't agree with it they used to pop plan b's like candy yeah. i've never had a single friend say they bled after i've taken plan b's you, I've I never bled you after. Wait, wait, wait. You've never had a single a friend. You've never had a single friend say that they bled after Plan B. Never. That's, that's never the, happened. That's the process of which the it's the preventing pregnancy. it from happening. I've taken I've taken probably three Plan Bs in my life. I've never bled once from it, and I never had a worse period after. I was gonna say everyone. I, I haven't heard the bleeding because I don't know that many people that take Plan that's B. A, but in college, I know that people that's have an abortion horrific. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's an abortion pill. Following Not Plan B, and you can only take it like three times a year or something like that. Take what? Plan B. You yeah. can't just pop that it like it's candy. For, yeah. Yeah. And then it can become just, effective. Yeah. And it can affect, I'm sure it can affect fertility or something of the sort. You're not yeah. supposed to take it. You're Any hormonal supposed to take it more than like three times in your life. Exactly. Honestly. I think that's what it but was. People played with fire Oops. with Whoa. it. And also, every time, like, people try to get pregnant for a long time. It's not just, oh, you get, sorry for my language, you get in once when you're pregnant. A lot of the time, the plan B isn't even preventing anything from happening. A that's lot of the time, you weren't, that, even preg- like, yep. you weren't even going to get pregnant. It's just a cautionary Right. Act. And that's because of like the cycle, the menstrual cycle, right? You can only get pregnant when you're like ovulating. Two days yeah. out of the month, yeah. 
right and so like that's five, six, and so six, five the six, stories six, yeah. i'm not making this up the stories that's that i've heard about yeah. are yeah, when women take it and during ovulation and there was conception like there was actual fertilization occurred and they took it and then they it either caused them to have an irregular period or it caused them to bleed out something that was a lot like Diff, something that was different. I don't. I feel, blood I feel uncomfortable talking about this because I don't. I've never had a period. Okay. But so as, just from as what far I as the Plan B thing, understood. It's, I I would have to look into it further. It's plausible that it could be an if conception occurred. However, for example, you can have sex and then five minutes after you you have sex, take a Plan Plan B pill. Conception has not occurred five minutes after you've had sex with somebody. So. If that you, it, that took, would not be took, an abortion, but it's took, plausible it could be an abortion. If you took if you Plan B five enough. minutes after you like had sex with somebody, is there a chance that the Plan B won't work? Yeah. 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 One hundred percent. It's pretty effective, is my understanding. <laughs> For the most not that part, I would that's have any knowledge. That's of, why it's Plan uh, B, and you can only take it within a certain days because it's not going to force an abortion. If you take it after that time frame, like you're not going to just take it and now you're going to have an abortion not or have a miscarriage. So one of one of my friends recently told me a story that he his buddy got his girlfriend pregnant and like several weeks after the fact he mixed a bunch of plan b into her pancakes and she like that's a yikes yeah and like basi- and a crime. basically killed her baby okay i said like, taking a plan b versus so mixing a bunch of plan b's together i'm sure you could take a, you can yeah, feed a woman a lot of things, things that would give her a obviously miscarriage obviously different things but i'm saying like it, it can still be effective i know but there's a lot of things that like you could you could yeah, even you could to to jail. i'm like, calling the fbi yeah i i have a hate crime to report you could drink so a bunch of vitamin C and force yourself an abortion, but it's not because it's the plan B that's going to give you it. Wait, you can get an abortion from a bunch of vitamin there's C? There's many ways to... Pineapple to, stuff. Yeah, there's that many ways like to a, stop. In a, I think in I learned that from American Horror Story. I don't know. This is icky. <laughs> Who was the first person to figure out that you could take a bunch of vitamin C? To Who was the first person? Honestly, it was probably on accident, which know. is very, very sad. <laughs> Who's like, let me pull these udders. Let me drink that. <laughs> no, know. it was probably because somebody... <laughs> Some dude with a fetish for sure. <laughs> So guys, personally, I feel like that guy that Chase Friends was talking about should be arrested because why would you mix pills for someone to take? Like, it could have killed her. What people don't get is, you see these um, contraceptive pills that people take in, there are side effects to it. And you as a person could be allergic to it. That is one. I just feel like that man should be a wrestler. I'm fucking calling the LAPD. I'm calling the FBI. You are going to jail. You're going to spend your night in prison. Because that... Mm-mm, I, he literally did it without her consent. Oh no, that's dangerous. That That's dangerous. If you're dating someone like that, please run. Run. Like, I don't like, um, I really don't like a guy who can't, like, take responsibilities for his actions. Look, I know that when people want to, when people, when some girls get pregnant and some guys are like, or both of them come to a conclusion that they should get an abortion, I kind of understand it's not easy, especially when you are a, a college student, it's not easy to start a family at that time because you're probably not ready expenses too i mean baby things are fucking expensive in this present day time so it's not easy and i get that but having to do something like that is hideous please just stop like you could have killed the girl i just hope she's okay i really hope she's okay but coming down to the talk of abortion um i would say that for plan b plan b has a lot of side effects just like i said and one of the side effects is irregular period like I have I have a friend that um, after taking a contraceptive pill, when her period came, she normally sees her periods for like five to seven days, but this time it was going to a weekend. That's like almost twelve days to almost two weeks, and it was crazy. Like it wasn't flowing. At the beginning, it was heavy, but. The remaining days, it was just drops, 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 and like it was just crazy, and all because of that pill. And then you could also have allergies, like if you're not, if you're allergic to some certain chemicals in the pill, like it's gonna affect you. So these are like things. And then the pill is 72 hours, but it's not a hundred percent. Like even on the pack of the pill, you will see that you have to take it within seventy two hours. Even at seventy two hours, it's not a hundred percent um sure. You're taking these pills just to prevent 
pregnancy. So if you don't take it between that and two hours, you're just being ignorant. So um, basically, I just feel like most people that actually get pregnant are like people that are ignorant. Let's say, for example, you're like, my boyfriend pull out game is really strong. Mm. Until you got pregnant, it's not strong. I really don't believe in that pull out shit because I feel like you could literally still get pregnant. I mean, like, sperm could still get into your body. It's not just about the finishing, but also when you're having sexual intercourse, I feel like sperm could still, because there's something they call pre -com, like, it could still, like, you get what I'm saying. But either way, I just feel like people should be careful because abortion is a sin. And I'm going to say, if you're killing a baby, people just feel like, nah, when I get pregnant, oh, there's a, there's another way to take it out. You just go do an abortion. People are not ready to accept the fact that there are consequences for our actions. If you have unprotected sex, pregnancy is your consequence and you have to face it. So God sends the child to you and then you go killing the child. If you took pills or you used condom, you won't be in the state where you are. That you have to come to the conclusion of going to get an abortion. So abortion is not healthy. It's a sin. You're committing murder. So please, 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 please do the right thing. If you do the right thing, you won't be in a condition where, or you won't be at a state where you have to go through that option. Okay, so please, let's all do the right thing. And don't forget to tell me what you think about this. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. And also like, share, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys.